How's it going, people? Welcome to your first class of Sharpening 101. In this series of videos, I will be going over how to sharpen various instruments and items, from knives to axes, scissors, shears, everything. Today's first class is going to be about sharpening clipper blades. Stay tuned. Hey guys, in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is learning how to sharpen clipper blades. Now, there's various means and methods of sharpening clipper blades. I don't have a full-size set on me, but today we'll be using uh, my face trimmer. Now, what you're going to need is a marker, a screwdriver, and something to sharpen your blades on. Now, if you're not into sharpening and you don't have sharpening stones, uh, oil stones, wet stones, diamond stones, you can glue sandpaper flat onto a uh, flat surface so it's not going to fold up or uh, curve around the edges when you're sharpening. So that's always an option. Okay, so your first step is going to be disassembly. These blades are always held on by uh, two screws that attach it to the clipper itself. Now, you want to have yourself a nice, clean, open work area. You don't want to be somewhere where these screws are just going to fall off the table and get lost in the carpet or go down the drain. So we're going to go ahead and put these aside so we don't lose them. Okay, when you pull these off, these are always clogged with hair. Okay, there's going to be oil in here, there's going to be hair in here. You could just go ahead and Take this off. And what you're left with is a top and bottom blade for the clipper. So we're going to clean this off so we know what we're looking with. Okay, so we've disassembled the clipper. We have the top and bottom all cleaned off. The second step is going to be sharpening them. Now with your marker, go ahead. You'll see there's shiny lines on the top and bottom portion that's going to let you know where the top blade is riding and your main goal is to flatten out the top and bottom so go ahead and mark everything up a lot of the times these blades come from the factory and they're not, uh, they're not flat, they're not completely even. So what we're going to do is pull out a 1000 grit water stone. If you have an oil stone or a diamond stone, feel free to use that. And all we're going to do is simply do a few passes. What this is going to do is form a new edge on each one of these teeth. And then we'll knock off the burr, move to a finer stone, knock off the burr, and then we'll put it back together. So you don't need a whole lot of pressure when doing this. Just a simple back and forth motion. Try to use the whole stone. Let's see where we are. It's taken off metal all throughout the center, but the sides are still a little bit low. And this edge over here hasn't been hit yet. So we're going to keep on sharpening. And all you need is a simple back and forth motion. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do the top blade, same kind of motion, using all the stone, light to medium pressure,
Nice. So we're all ready to move on to the third step. The third step involves taking a wire brush of some sort and you want to knock the burr back down. <laughs> okay, that should be good enough. Now for our last stone, we're going to use this 4,000 grit Norton water stone. You want to make sure that your stones are flat. And we're going to repeat the process using the whole stone, light to medium pressure. And repeat with the bottom blade. Check your work. A little bit longer on this. Okay, great. Go through and deburp one last time. What this is doing is knocking back the burr that was raised when you were sharpening it to begin with. All right. What we're going to do is one or two real light passes on the 8,000 grit side. You can certainly do this with sandpaper using various grits. You just have to make sure that your sandpaper is completely flat and won't roll on you. Okay, last time, and what we're going to be doing is just doing forward strokes. We'll do Let's say five. That's it. Rinse it off. Put it on the towel to dry. You don't want to leave your blades wet. They will rust on you. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, we'll dry these off and put it back together. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, so your final step in this uh, process is going to be reassembling the two clipper blades and attaching it back to your clipper. Before you do that, you want to grab some sort of oil, and you don't need that much. Maybe a drop there, drop there, drop there, one for the back burner. That's all the oil you really need.
Go ahead and put the oil away. Let's get all over the place. Get that on top. Detach that. Now different clippers have different means of making the top blade slide across the bottom. Um, this one just slides right there in the channel. We will reattach that. Once you have one of the screws in, you could go ahead and release the pressure off of it. Adjust it so the other screw slides right in. Tighten it down. And that's it. Next, what you want to do is uh, test them out to make sure that they are cutting properly. Nice. So there you go. Hopefully you found this was uh, interesting and helpful. Uh, you've sharpened your first pair of clipper blades now. Uh, if you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, and that's it. Look for more videos in the future. You guys have a great day. Take it easy.